go. We have to do all this lifting in stages because we can only move so far at a time. So now that I've got the engine up on the hoist, I'm going to roll it back, set it on the ground down here. Notice how one man can easily Now that I've got the engine off the stoop, all I have to do is bring the crane down. You can see this unit is light enough that one man can handle all three of the pieces very easily. The ground as possible when I'm rolling it. I move it slowly. Because remember Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. The faster something's moving, the more force it has. Okay. As you can see, I've lifted the engine over on this end of the beam. I don't want to set it on that side of the truck. So I'll just carefully roll the unit over the truck. I just wanted to show you a different configuration of my crane. I've shortened it up a considerable amount to make it easier to maneuver in tight spaces. You can see that even at the shorter configuration, it still easily spans the pallet. So in these warehouse markings are really handy, you know. And to really pick something up off a pallet with a regular cherry picker, my lifter, it's relatively easy. You notice the unit is just wide enough when it's configured in this direction to go through that doorway. And there you can see. Right through a standard size doorway. That's the reason for the Highest dimensions thing up a little bit higher. I've got these leg extensions in it. Slip right in where the wheels work. You just slide them up in there. One end at a time. When I designed this unit it was for a local hot rodder that's got maybe a one car garage. Hot rod and he needs to pull an engine out and take it over to his buddy's house and see if he can throw it in the back of the truck. I'm going to pull it flat on a wall in just a few seconds. It's a lot more uh, versatile than a, than a cherry picker, even though it's a little more expensive. I'm sure that uh, you can find many uses for it. I'm rolling right around. It's still incredibly strong. They're made from steel tubing, it's 120 thousandths inch thick. Plenty strong enough to support the wheels. Slide this up in the truck. Slide this one up. Carrying handles on the beam. Make it easy. Lift, manipulate. There you have it. Tire unit folded up in the truck. Less than five minutes. Erecting it takes maybe a minute or two longer about the same deal. As you can see, as you can see it folds really flat in the truck. You can still get the tailgate up. Plenty of room for the engine to sit there.